Hi guys, we're here to upgrade my HP 360-15CN008CA. I bought this 3 years ago. Unfortunately, it only has 256 GB storage. And yeah, right now with games and everything, all the data, it's all by gigabytes. 256, it's not enough. Here we have the XPG. 1 terabyte NVMe PCIe SSD and another 2.5 inch 1 terabyte There we go from Crucial SSD Okay So of course it's not included so we need to buy a uh, SATA connector for the SSD 2.5 inch here we go and everything I bought from Amazon okay and of course you need to have uh, this is the PCIe enclosure for M.2 socket so we need to clone my uh, original hard drive on this laptop so to do that you need to have an enclosure like this and we're gonna put the M.2 SSD to this enclosure so that we can do cloning before we install it but fortunately I already did it so I already put it here inside as you can see So I just need to remove it. So this is already cloned. Okay, this is the one terabyte and that two SSD. Well, this is uh, cheaper than the Samsung Evo. It's uh, like a hundred dollars less. I bought it from Amazon about $170 and the enclosure is about $40 okay so we'll just I'll tell that okay let's pass forward okay now we're here to remove the bottom panel there's a screw here it's an hexagonal uh, screw it's quite small really small you need to have uh, right tools for it or else you're gonna have a hard time uh, removing it so as you can see we have the hexagonal six sides screw okay let's remove this and I'll try to fast forward it so that you don't need to wait so we only we have here one hexagonal screw only one on this center uh, bottom center and the rest is just a regular uh, screw uh, so we have one here and we have okay, just a regular uh, star screw okay. so in total we have seven screws and make sure you have the magnetizer because it's quite small the screws are quite small you might lose it when trying to remove it so there's one here and one there okay, let's remove it and just right under the foot rubber okay one here and one there there's two just beside the, the hinge and there's another two right on the next side of the hinge so in total there's seven so six star screws and one hexagonal screw yeah there's two here so make sure when you try to remove the rubber uh, what do you call this what rubber sticker here don't pull it all throughout you can still use it and it sticks back to the 
Okay, okay, make sure, okay, let's start from this side. It's easier to use uh, if you have a, a plastic uh, remover, okay. And just on the side. Well, I opened this before, so it's quite easy now, but the first try, it's it's quite tricky, so be careful. Ta-da! Okay, before I did not know that this is upgradable, and uh, when I open it, yeah, there is. This is the heat sink for the RAM and for the main storage or main hard drive. Yeah. Okay, this is for the. SATA 2.5 inch and that's a connector there you could think there's a SATA connect uh, connection or a slot there okay and that's where the M.2 socket SSD will go so slowly freak it out I'm sorry not freak it out like uh, trying to remove the heatsink Okay, it's pretty easy. You have the right tools. Okay, there you go. Okay, and then it's just flip it over. Then it, and then, oh, sorry. Uh, make sure the battery is, uh, well, you can remove the battery just for, make sure you don't short circuit it. But as you can see, I'm trying to, like, s carefully install this one without searching the searching getting the uh, the motherboard okay just remove the screw okay as I said you need to clone the SSD storage that or the uh, the one that you need to replace with it Okay, this is the old one from Toshiba 256 gigabyte M.2 SSD Okay And I'm gonna replace it with my one terabyte RAM XPG well, it's cheaper than the Samsung Evo. Well, but we'll see if it works or not. I hope it works. Okay, let's put it there. So as you can see, also at the bottom, there's only one. There's an available slot for another uh, RAM, memory RAM. I only have eight gigabytes on this one. Put in the screen. Okay, with the package, it has like a thermal sticker. You can put it in there as well. Okay, make sure the notch is on the right side. Thermal stickers are used to. Okay, great. Uh, so yeah, now the yeah the RAM. There's another slot here. As you can see, it's removable. It's not soldered. So this one is eight gigabyte RAM. There you go. Or you can just buy another eight gigabyte to the other side to make it dual channel RAM. It's better to have it same eight gigabyte on both sides rather than eight and sixteen. It might not be. Uh, advantage or it might even be bad for your system okay so I'm gonna put the 2.5 inch now well I will, I'll just put this back first well the computer is really fast so I just need storage upgrade with the RAM 8 gigabyte is enough for me. I don't really open much of the pages or open a lot of uh, 
apps or applications when I'm using the laptop. So, well, I have lots of thermal stickers. I'm just gonna put one here. Well, it doesn't do any bad for the uh, RAM. Just put it there. Will help with the cooling. There you go. Stickers. Well, it might not reduce the temperature that much, but at least it reduces something, right? So it's better than nothing. Okay, let's close it. There you go. Yes. Okay, let's install this 2.9 inch. So I've been searching everywhere. I cannot see if it's upgradable or not. Most of the models of HP NV360 are soldered, so it's not upgradable. But fortunately, mine is. So, well, if we, I'm using this one. There's a big space for the for my 2.5 inch SSD so I'm trying to okay, make it snugly fit so I'm putting thermos there, thermos there that it will stick there on the side too so that it doesn't move there you go yeah, just be careful to snap it in. There you go. Great. Now let's cover it. We're all done upgrading. So we have the main hard drive upgraded to one terabyte and another one terabyte storage. And let's see if it works. I hope it works. Okay, let's go over it. So this laptop is pretty easy to upgrade. Okay, let's see if it turns, it turns on. I hope it did not short circuit it. And it should work. What we're doing? Oh, yes, it works. Right now, I'm formatting my 2.5 inch SSD, 1 terabyte storage. And there you go, everything works. Now I have two terabytes. Thank you for watching. Bye, guys.